Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss how to convert a given finite automata into regular grammar. Given finite automata into regular grammar. Suppose M is the finite automata with five tuples Q, Sigma, Delta, Q naught, F. For this grammar, for the, sorry, for this finite automata, we have to generate a grammar. For this finite automata, we have to generate a grammar such that the language accepted by the grammar is equal to language accepted by the finite automata. That means after conversion of this finite automata into grammar, remember the point, the language accepted by the finite automata and the language accepted by the grammar must be same. Both are must be same. So, some rules. Now, G is the grammar. After converting, G becomes the grammar. We already discussed G contains, that is, every grammar contains only four tuples. What are those ones? First one is the variables or set of non terminals The states in the finite automata acts as the variables or non terminals in the grammar. So, simply, the states in the finite automata acts as non terminals in the grammar and sigma is the input symbols. Now the same sigma that is the same input symbols on the finite automata acts as terminals, acts as terminals in the grammar and delta is the transition. So we will discuss later. It is represented with some phi. Initial state of the finite automata initial state of the finite automata is q naught it acts as the start symbol of the grammar so initial state of the finite automata acts as the start symbol of the grammar so we already discussed g is in the form of v t p s v is the set of variables or set of non terminals so now set of non terminals are q t is the terminal symbols sigma P is the production rules. It obtained from delta. S is the start symbol of the grammar. That is considered as Q naught. Now, production rules. So, we have to discuss how to write P. How to write P. In this, we have two cases. Suppose, if there is a transition in of the form delta of Q comma A is equal to P. In the finite automata, in the finite automata, suppose in, if there is a transition, if there is a transition delta on state Q with input symbol A, if it moves to P, delta of Q comma A is equal to P, if this form appears in the finite automata, then we have to add, then we have to add, here what is the meaning of this one? From state Q2, we are moving to state P. The meaning is, initially I am at state Q. Whenever input A occurs, I am moving to state P. The same thing is added to the grammar. And add Q tends to, add Q tends to AP. This is the grammar. If there is a transition in the form of finite automata, then write this one as in the format in the grammar. Remember, this is the case only if P is non-final state. P is not a final state. If P is not a final state, add only this grammar. Add only this production rule. Only this rule. Suppose second case is the same example. Delta of Q comma A is equal to P. Same rule. Then we have to add Q tends to AP add Q tends to AP along with add Q tends to A also Q tends to terminal only terminal means only terminal means here P is a final state P is a final state so if P is not a final state we have only a single production if it is a final state, we have 
two productions. One is from Q2 AP, another one is Q2 A. That is, in the grammar, in the grammar, if you have only a terminal, if you have only a terminal means it reaches to the final stage. So, these are the procedure. Here the procedure is very simple for converting the grammar into finite automata. Converting the grammar into finite automata. If P is a final state or non-final state. If it is a non-final state, simply add a single production. If it is a final state, add two productions. Add two productions. Now in the next section, we will discuss conversion of this finite automata into regular grammar with an example. Thank you.